This is Richmond Mayor LaVar Stoney. I just want to take a moment to congratulate Diane Walker on the culmination of a fine, outstanding career at NBC 12. Diane, you've been part of our community and welcomed into our living rooms for 41 years. And there's a reason for that. We always knew you were on our side. Your compassion and commitment to keeping us informed and advocating for our interests made you an indispensable part of our Richmond family. Now you decided to spend a little time with your family, and that is well-deserved. So, Diane, on behalf of a grateful city, thank you, and congratulations on a job well done. Thank you, Mayor Stoney. Awesome. <laughs> <laughs> well, all week long, you've seen the stories looking back at all the wonderful things that Diane has done over the years to help thousands of people in our community. You already know that. What you don't know is what she's done to mentor aspiring journalists and help them maximize their potential, me included. The tragic chain of events that happened here. Spring 1994, Diane Walker was already a popular and well-established reporter on Channel 12. And it was that year I was hired to be her co-anchor on a new startup project. You're watching Fox News at 10 with Kurt Autry. Diane Walker. It was an experimental partnership between NBC 12 and Fox Richmond, a 30-minute primetime newscast at 10 o'clock. Hi, I'm Kurt Autry. And I'm Diane Walker. By 1999, the 10 o'clock news expanded to an hour and became one of the highest rated newscasts of any Fox affiliate in the country. And much of that success could be directly attributed to Diane's strong name recognition and acceptance in the community. Her warmth and realness was the magic dust that made the show click. He says that could mean the prosecutor doesn't think there's enough evidence. Sorry, we have a huge fly in this studio. I try very hard not to do that, but he's back. But anyway, we're back to our story. And no matter what happened on set, Diane's calm demeanor and quick wit could smooth over just about any problem. All right, we're going to deal with this. Your turn. Where's our floor crew? And those of us thankful to co-anchor with her were happy to go along for the ride. The time I look back upon most fondly is the hour that I would spend every night on the anchor desk anchoring the Fox News with Diane Walker. Just like I had learned before him, when CNN correspondent Ryan Nobles anchored the news at 10, it didn't take long for him to figure out that Diane was more than a good friend. She was also a wonderful mentor. She never hesitated to offer uh, advice uh, and do so in a kind and productive way. And my favorite thing about her was just how much fun she was. And Ryan wasn't the only local reporter who would go on to network stardom to benefit from Diane's advice. Terrell Brown was a product of Chesterfield's Matoica High School and VCU. He worked his way up the ranks, becoming an overnight anchor for CBS and is now the morning anchor at Chicago's WLS. Early on, you taught me this job is really about being there for people, not a celebrity, but a public servant. I'm better because of that, and I'm better because of you. And of course, no tribute to Diane could be complete without a few words from her former colleagues, who also put in decades here at WWBT. Congratulations on 40 plus years of tireless, fearless community service. You are a major reason 12 on your side is a household brand. For decades, people who didn't know where to turn turn to you because of your reputation for getting results. You're just a wonderful person to have known over all of these years. Again, I wish you the very best. Hope we stay in touch and good luck in retirement. Diane Walker is one of the finest hardworking reporters I've ever known. Good luck, Diane. Oh, look at all those people. Oh my gosh, I am truly speechless. And I feel so, I'm just, my heart is just, my heart is so full, I'm overjoyed. Thank you so very much. It's just been a wonderful journey, Kurt. Oh, <laughs> you ready? Yes. You ready for one more here real quick? We're not done? Uh, no. <laughs> Some of your friends want to wish you a happy retirement from your high school, Armstrong High School. Uh, they sent us this photo asking us to share it on air. We know you've remained very close with your graduating class over the years. Some were here at the luncheon yesterday. Congratulations on your retirement from the Armstrong High School class of none of your darn business. <laughs> Forget the year. <laughs> we're, we're back in a moment with one more surprise for Diane. Oh, gosh. <laughs>